The remains of the bunker in the factory are all over this park. They don't look like a whole lot. This is one of the bunkers. There's quite a bit more, a lot of foundations around here. Let's see what else we can find. Hopefully there's something distinguishable. If you're in Stockholm, you may want to check out this park. It's only about a 20 minute tram ride. You're still technically in the city, but forest and you're out by the water. The reason I came here is because it's where Alfred Nobel built his first factory in the 1860s. And they're producing nitroglycerin, which is really dangerous. So this factory blew up, I think in the 1880s. Because of that explosion, he was inspired to invent dynamite which is basically nitroglycerin mixed with powdered seashells. By the time he died, he had 95 factories around the world. Of course, Nobel is the one who created the Nobel Prizes. When you're in this park, you can find all these remains, like this is a tunnel and there's buildings around, but I don't really know what any of them are. Well, we've got to see what's through this tunnel. Well, I found the old factory. This is where they were making the nitroglycerin, and where I was before, those were the bunkers where they were storing it. The old factory now, it's mainly used for banquets, and then they have a restaurant, a cafe, and they rent boats over here. Apparently not a whole lot of people come to see the old factory. I'm gonna head down this path, see if there's any remains that way, and then round the water, this, this lake over here, because after it blew up, I'd got the dates wrong previously. I said it was 1880s. It, was, it blew up in the 1860s and then again in the 1870s. And then they moved it to the other side of the water. So I'll go over and, and see that. This is a great park regardless of the Nobel factory. Uh, I see why a lot of people don't even realize it's here. I found a couple of signs with some good information. This behind me was a dock for the old factory. And uh, the whole valley is called Winterviken, which is Winter Bay. There used to be a road that would go right across the ice in the winter into the city. They produced dynamite here up until I think even the 1960s. Uh, there was some level of manufacture going on here on this side. 